Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a Dokkan Fest exclusive AGL Aging Vegeta, and it's coming from Adlins. Now, you guys noticed something, right? My uh, webcam is currently not on. Now, it is for good reason that um, <laughs> I'm just going to leave alone for the uh, video, but just know that the webcam will be back for uh, tomorrow. Now, um, with that being said... Send me custom cards over to vhfcustomcards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card in the near, well, not near future. Um, in the, uh, what, what did I say before? Not the near future. I think it was uh, as soon as possible. So I get to your custom card as soon as possible while I'm getting all these recent custom cards out the way. Now, with that being said, uh, so Adlin says uh, you might want to put these uh, docs together, okay, or just dock together, and it's sent from iPhone too. And, you know, I don't really mind if you send uh, cards from your phone it honestly works out just fine for the video all right so here is the actual card itself and uh, let me also just pull up the art right over here yeah we got the little youth vegeta and then of course you have the the older vegeta right over here let me just go ahead and grab it up this is the older vegeta right over here and then the card itself is right over here okay but uh anyways he's, he's extreme agl um, so he's, he goes from youth into, uh, I guess, uh, adult, I guess, Prince Vegeta. All right. <laughs> okay. So what do we have here? Let me zoom out a little bit. It looks a little, uh, odd <laughs> on the screen. Let me just do it like this. I think it looks better like this. Yeah. It looks like a damn typewriter. <laughs> um, but anyways, I am on a little bit of time constraints. So let me just... Let me just go straight into it. Let me put you to the side. Can I just have you off to the side while I'm reading the card? Can I? I, I don't. Maybe I could just do it like this. I could just have it like this. Boom. And then I could just have a, this card right here. Boom. And then I think it looks fine like that. Yeah. It looks perfect. All right. Anyways. So, um, uh, his leader skill is Pure Saiyans, Vegeta's Family, or Destined Path. Seven key. And, okay, guys. This is going to be one of those cards. Seven key. 180% to HP and 170% to attack and defense. And he gives an additional 30% of stats to youth, inhuman deeds, and battle of wits. And he gives extreme class, 5 key and 170% HP and 160% to attack and defense. Of course, pure Saiyans, Vegeta's family, Destined Path characters are excluded. Okay. <laughs> um, now, just, just a... This video, or maybe other videos where I'm rushing to get through the video because I have a couple things I got to do today. Uh, I'm going to skip the 200% leaders go. I hope that's fine, guys. Uh, <laughs> okay, so these are his rainbow stats. And uh, let's see. Is he a LR? He's not LR. He's a Doka Fest TR. Excuse me. I completely overlooked that. Okay, so super attack. The It's a strike, and it's a prince's surprise. He gets... Oh, bro. <laughs> He's massively stacking defense and he gets 50 percent attack for 12 turns and he gives all allies including self five percent damage reduction he seals and does mega colossal damage um a tur that's doing mega colossal damage i mean you guys can pretty much see where this is going <laughs> okay so it's passive the prince's humble beginnings he activates Injurious animation and gets two key 50% damage reduction where there is another, well, when there is another, uh, pure Saiyans category ally on the team. Okay, so key and damage reduction, cool. He also gets an additional 20% damage reduction for 10 turns from first appearance. Nice, so that could be up to 70% damage reduction combined. He also gets 250% attack and defense plus additional 50% attack and defense when attacking. Nice. And he gives pure Saiyans, youth, Vegeta's family, and destined path 30% attack and defense. Cool. So he's support type unit with damage reduction. Uh, and he also, uh, what else? What else? If there is a uh, character with the name King Vegeta on the team, I do like that he put that on the team part of the card, uh, plus additional 30% damage reduction for eight turns and gain three or more up to six attacks with a 90% chance of becoming a super. So you just run a King Vegeta and this guy's pretty much God. Um, and he also is a rainbow orb changer when there is a pure sans category enemy or ally in this character's attacking turn, which of course, I mean, 
you just have King Vegeta right next to him. This this guy's gonna be killing everything in his path, right? Because he's not taking damage. Because he's gonna have how much damage reduction? He gets an additional thirty percent damage reduction for eight turns, as well as wait, I just realized something. He gets an additional thirty percent damage reduction for eight turns, right? As well as him having that twenty percent damage reduction for ten turns. That's combined to be fifty percent damage reduction, and then he has that already fifty percent damage reduction just for that the entire battle for him having a pure Saiyans category ally on the team. So this guy could be at a hundred percent damage reduction for pretty much eight turns max and then once you get to the eighth turn he's going to be at 70 percent and then once you get on over to the past the 10th turn he's only going to be at 50 percent so he goes from 100 percent damage reduction to down to 70 percent damage reduction down to 50 but um guys he's can he can do up to six plus supers with a 90 percent chance to well he, he could do six additionals plus with a 90 percent of them becoming a super <clears throat> i mean come on now let's <laughs> let's let's be for real um okay so where were we at we were at the orb changing yeah he's a rainbow orb changer and he also gets five percent defense per rainbow keys to obtain up to 40 percent oh like he really needs that when he has 100 percent damage reduction within those turns for the entirety of eight turns and he ages up when conditions are meant the entire point of this card is for you to massively stack your defense of course you gain that 50 percent attack for 12 turns but the entire point is to <clears throat> stack your defense as high as possible and then you just go into the growth condition where this character must do five super attacks in battle or when there's a pure stance category ally from the third turn from the start of battle um i mean you don't even need to transform this card do you like um just take a quick peek at this stats and he's doing mega colossal damage i mean this card's going to be, do, to be doing very good damage while massively stacking defense with 100 percent damage reduction for pretty pretty much within those eight turns um and then this card's also supporting creating rainbow orbs i mean you you guys see this card could do up to six plus supers okay <clears throat> anyways let's see okay so uh for what's that that is for uh prince vegeta okay so now we're going to the adult version okay so uh super attack uh that being it's a other and it says royal dance okay so he now massively stacks attack and defense clearly busted and grants 10 percent damage reduction to all allies uh, you know i just noticed guys um he gives him he gives himself and all allies an additional five percent damage reduction on super but he already has a hundred percent damage reduction combined in his kit within the first eight turns okay <laughs> Um, anyways, he massively stacked attack and defense while gaining 10% damage reduction um, to all allies. Well, he's not. It's not for all allies. Wait, no, it is for all allies. Excuse me. It's not for himself because it says self-excluded. It's for all allies and it's excluding himself. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> um, he seals uh, and builds up the finish skill meter by 2% and causes unfathomable damage to enemy. And uh, um, unfathomable damage just means he hits harder than he would if it was meg colossal hit so it does more damage than a meg colossal okay okay so strong super attack effect clearly um so passive the the great prince's strategy he recovers 80 percent hp once only why does that even matter because the fact that he already has crazy amounts of damage reduction from his uh, his pre-growth i mean hey whatever and he also recovers 20 percent hp at the start of every turn no, at the start of every next turn after first aging up <clears throat> okay shows us free damn near free sensu bean while also being able to recover hp for free after the turn where he gets that quote-unquote free sensu bean and activates uh what's that no that's his yeah it activates a finish skill meter okay 480 percent attack and defense Guards all attacks when there is a character whose name is King Vegeta on the team, which you're going to have a King Vegeta with this guy. And he gives all allies two key and 50% attack and defense. And plus this show four key, 10% attack and 30% defense for those who are on the pure sand category, which of course you can have pure sands. 90% damage reduction for two turns after which uh, lost my footing at the which damage is reduced by 20%. Okay, so he goes from 90% to 20% damage reduction. All right, this says after which, right? Yeah. Yeah, it does. And an additional 66% attack and defense per attack performed. And by two passing turns, 66% attack and defense for all allies in the Destined Path category. So what is he, a dual support? Did I overlook the other support buff that he's giving? Maybe that's his only support buff he's giving. Let's continue reading. Launches three additional attacks that have a 70%, no, that's a 77% chance of becoming a super attack. Excuse me, I'm too used to seeing a 70%. 
And he also is a rainbow orb changer for five turns. Uh, and it, this says, even if he's off rotation, he still create the rainbow orbs, which is pretty crazy. Um, but you're going to be running this guy in double rotation. So it really, what's the point of pushing this guy off rotation? Well, actually, no, even when he's not on the rotation, excuse me, I get it exactly what, he, what he's saying. This also goes for after the five rotations are up, bruh. <laughs> Of the, of the guaranteed orb changing okay um anyways back on over to the car where was i at? i was at the rainbow orb changing yeah okay so star from the sixth turn has a 30 percent chance of creating rainbow orbs okay and 20 percent attack and defense for rainbow keys are obtained when meter is 30 or more launches finish skill when player is ready um uh i what would i even say here crazy strong super attack effect while doing over mega colossal damage not even doing mega colossal but over it um gives damage reduction to allies he can get up give up to what's that um 66 percent attack and defense to death destined path characters uh multiple additional super attack chances rainbow orb changing on and off rotation he's a nuker for rainbow keys are obtained um guard 90 percent damage reduction heals this card has it all <laughs> this card literally has it all um, and his finish skill, it's a blast, and it's uh, the uh, Royal Gala Gun. Causes destructive damage to enemy. Pretty much, this is going to one-shot the enemy because this guy is massively stacking attack and defense. And raises attack by 999% and performs a guaranteed crit during finish skill after finish skill is launched. 50% attack and defense and a guaranteed crit for the rest of the battle. Um, you hit the boss with this and they die instantly. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, uh... Adlins, I think that's the person I created this. Um, crazy broken card. Um, this is one of those Saitama broken. Uh, you know, I think I used to call them like joke cards. You know, like a joke character that's just stupidly powerful, like Saitama. Um, yeah, this is one of those cards. Um, W card. Yeah, I mean, this is killing everything in this path, right? W. I mean, what can this card do? This is an unrealistically strong card. Yeah. Um, but that makes sense considering the fact that it's a custom card, right? So, it, I mean, he's pretty much doing the right thing by making it unrealistically strong. But, I mean, you don't really always have to go about the unrealistically strong path for custom cards. Now, sure, it is custom cards and you could go down that path. But I I don't really mind it. First, I don't really mind it. It's whatever. But, yeah, um, W card. Um, add-ons, I think that's the person that created this. Uh, send me custom cards over to bhfcustomcards at gmail.com so I get to your custom cards in the... the I always forget what it is uh as soon as possible yeah get to your custom card as soon as possible i'm getting all these recent custom cards out the way i appreciate you guys watching you guys are the best don't worry face camp's gonna be back on for tomorrow's video and i'll catch you guys next video and i absolutely love you all you guys are the greatest peace